really embarrassing that Luke's not here. <laughs> Maybe I did embarrass myself. From unfortunate haircuts to hidden tears to horses getting messy on set, there were countless embarrassing situations the actors found themselves in while filming. We've got 10 scenes that the Bridgerton actors were most mortified filming coming right up. Number one, the cast certainly wasn't expecting to see all this on set. I think that was probably maybe the most disastrous thing that happened. Jonathan Bailey bared his soul and his crotch. I think his, his, his trousers ripped at a certain point. Bailey was filming one of his fabulous fencing scenes suited up in what happened to be very tight pants. The trousers held up through most of the shoot until Bailey made his final lunge in the match. In that particular moment, there happened to be four cameras on him and a set full of cast and crew to capture this embarrassing memory forever. The actor was so mortified, literally all he could do was scream, this is so embarrassing. Even though it's been a while since it happened, it still haunts him. So yes, it's true, my crotch, my crotch did split, but that's testament to my athleticism and the lunges. Number two, Regency era romance on screen? Flawless. In reality, well, Let's just say making out in a corset isn't cute. It may look good, but for functionality's sake, Simone Ashley was not a fan of it. Making out with Johnny in a corset, there were a few scenes where it was a bit, couldn't lift my arms up, couldn't, you know, embrace as much as I wanted to, but we got there. It takes some planning for sure, but to achieve all that steamy romance so beautifully, definitely worth it. Number three. He claims it was a character choice, but we know the truth. It's fine if I'm crying, don't worry about it. Filming the scene where Charithra walks down the aisle was a special experience for everyone, since they hadn't actually rehearsed it yet, wanting to capture as authentic a feeling as possible. But emotions got the better of Luke Newton, who was really moved witnessing the moment, even getting a lump in his throat and trying to hold back his tears. That is until he remembered who he was playing. Colin, the soppy romantic, would surely be crying at this moment, so he did and then he got caught. And afterwards, Teresa came up to me and was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah. He, and she said, Johnny said you were crying. And I was like, well, nearly, yeah, but I'm fine. Number four, if we know anything, it's that hairography matters. I thought it was a choice he was making. Okay, so during one of their steamier encounters, Simone Ashley got a bit caught up in the moment and forgot a key step. And all the while, her on-screen love was trying to help her out, but then it just got awkward. I forgot to take, to mime taking my hair down, and Johnny was like, looking up at me, and he was okay. just, but he's like, <sighs> This didn't translate so well, leaving Ashley confused and Johnny embarrassed at his actions. And then they yelled cut, and he was like, you didn't take your hair down! <laughs> like, oh. Number five, Animal co-stars really stole the thunder in one particular scene. The most awkward moment on set happened when I think, yeah, working with horses. Filming a romantic moment can be awkward as is, but it's the worst when a horse co-star intercepts, stealing all the attention and stinking up the joint. You're doing a beautiful scene, it's very romantic and it's going really well, and then a horse just takes a dump. Yeah, not such a romantic or cute scene anymore. How do you even continue filming after that? Ashley was understanding of the horse's needs, at least. You know, when nature calls, Nature calls. Number six. This was a seriously competitive crew. When the Bridgerton cast gets the chance to compete on set, they all bring their A game. Luke Thompson gave it his all, but it happened to be a bit too much for his mallet. Even just at trying to hit a ball, I mean, that's how strong he is. The actor broke not one, but two mallets filming the one match. But that didn't hold him back. His co star Claudia Jesse explained that he just kept going. Even though it was clearly half a mallet, all jagged wood and the cameras are on, he was just like, oh, I've broken a second one, but I'll give it a go. We can't say he wasn't committed, even if it left him embarrassed on the field. Number seven, anyone know where Colin Bridgerton is? Luke Newton certainly didn't one of his first days back on set, unable to speak in his character's voice for the life of him. It was a massive scene, we were at the races. The pressure was on, with loads of moving parts and almost the entire cast there. It just wasn't coming out in my Colin voice. It was like the back of my throat, I was squeaking, I sounded like a Disney character. I was like, what is going on? Our pal Luke happened to be suffering a bit of stage fright. It just really overwhelmed me that like the success of the show and suddenly I felt like I was in Bridgerton for the first time. Considering how overwhelmed we get just watching the show, who can blame him? 
Number 8. But never without certain rules in place. The intimacy coordinator of the second season of Bridgerton, Elizabeth Talbot, got very creative when it came to sourcing props for the actors to use as part of their three barrier rule for when the action on screen got hot and heavy. There's a three barrier rule, which oh. means you'll have your barrier, yeah. I'll have mine, and then this would be the oh, half inflated so, netball. So then it made for some pretty awkward times. Bailey explaining, It's pretty silly, really, and we have some hilarious moments. In addition to the half inflated netball, pillows and neck cushions were go to barriers on set. If it works, it works. Are the demands of the day affecting your game, brother? Number 9. We'd be lying if we said there wasn't some cheating in the Pow Mau match. Daphne stuns with her performance on set, but the reality? Well, most of those shoots took a fair amount of work, and it wasn't usually coming from Dinovor herself. I was probably the worst player. Pretty awkward when you're supposed to be the best player. The embarrassment was real, as the actress kept trying to make some shots and help out, so some of her gameplay could actually be captured by the cameras, only to miss over and over and over again. Number 10. This shave was a bit too close for comfort. Luke Thompson is a jokester and wanted to play some tricks on set, but wound up having a trick played on himself. So at one point, Jenny, who was our shared hair and makeup artist, pretended she shaved a lump out of the back of his head, and he, he believed <laughs> Now that is brutal. But the fact that the actor was actually really kind about it and acted totally fine after the fact, despite feeling ashamed about his new bald spot, speaks volumes and just makes us love him even more. As much as Bridgerton is a total romance, the laughs we get from behind the scenes and on screen always make it a fun watch. Which situation do you think would have been most embarrassing?